our prospects forget about 99% of what we say. So if we want them to remember everything, we pretty much just have to tell them a story. And the more we use, the more they'll remember. So for example, I got this popcorn here at the uh, grocery store yesterday and they actually had a free sample. So I saw a free sample, of course, hey, free sample, popcorn, I'm in. So, you know, obviously the site was there, sense number one. Even though it wasn't freshly popped, and this is a white cheddar, organic, blah, blah, blah. Um, even though it wasn't popped there, I could smell it from, my, from you know, an aisle, aisle over. So that's sense number two. Of course, you touch it, uh, taste it, that's three and four, and of course you hear the crunch. So all five senses, and I bought it. Now, why did I buy it? Because assuming it was a positive experience, I'd buy it. So if I didn't like the taste or there was a soggy crunch, of course I'm not going to buy it, but I used, they used all five senses for me to make, of course, the purchasing decision. So in our business, how do we use as many senses as possible? So whether it's your product, service, or opportunity, sometimes you can't use all the senses. Um, you know, obviously if a product that has taste, great, you know, uh, a drink, a, a food, um, whatever, but obviously if you're with a service company, you can't taste it, you can't taste electricity. I actually, well, I did once as a kid, it was shocking, no pun intended, don't taste electricity. So, you know, to always think is how many times, how many more senses can I add to my story about my product, service, or opportunity? So, uh, you know, even if you're talking about incentive trips to your distributor, you know, talk about the story of the trip. Talk about the story of the future trip. Talk about, you know, feeling uh, your toes in the sand if you're going to like a beach resort or hearing the ocean waves. You know, uh, you can't taste the trip, but you can taste the cuisine. You know, what were they cooking? What are they going to be cooking? You know, can you, can you smell, um, you know, can you smell the, the freshly barbecued, you know, chicken? Um, you know, what's it going to taste like? So, you know, try just, I mean, whether it's product service opportunity, incentive trip, um, you know, trying to motivate people, try to use as many senses as possible. Sometimes you can't use all five senses, but the more you use, the more it exponentially multiplies. Um, so obviously we have the book stories, which is listed in the, in the description here. We also have a masterclass coming up, which will be next Wednesday, depending upon when you're watching this video. Hope you're watching live. I, I see a couple of uh, um, thumbs up there, but, um, so I'll actually add the, the masterclass link, but Here's something you can do right away, is just remember, take your story, take your testimony, turn it into a story and figure out how many more senses can you add to make our prospect remember, make it more visual, make it more uh, all five senses. And that's really what's gonna make a big difference for everybody to not only remember you, but also make that purchasing decision. Of course, like, comment, and share away and we'll catch everybody at the next masterclass starting here in about eight days. Have a great one. Thanks again.